Hello everybody, hope you're doing okay and welcome once again to my cabin. Now I'm sure like most of you, you're trying to plan races for 2021. So I've tried to enter the London Marathon on the good for age, see if I can get another sub three hour marathon. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to have a look at some sub three stats. It's a question that crops up a lot for people who are aspiring to reach a sub three marathon. What sort of times do they need to do with say at a park run, at a 10k and those half marathons as well? So I thought I'd have a look at this today and actually we'll look at some scoring tables that are different ones that are out there and actually look at some real world data from Power of 10 and Run Britain rankings that I run. So that's to get stuck into it. So in this spreadsheet here, I've got the 5K, 10K, half marathon and marathon. And these are the times that you hit if you run a three hour pace at those times. So 21.20 going through 5K. And I found a couple of uh, predictors on the internet quite popular ones by Greg McMillan he's a well-known coach as is Jack Daniels and also the classic age graded these times are basically what the equivalent of, of, of a three-hour marathon according to these tables and you can see quite a difference in, in the 5k certainly Greg McMillan thinks that to run a sub three-hour marathon you need to run an 18 5k whereas if you're a woman on age graded you only need to run 1938 so over a whole minute slower and age graded for men Again, quite slower as well. Moving up to 10K, again, Greg McMillan thinks you need to run faster than everyone else. So 38.22 is required by him. Whereas on age graded, the women don't even need to break 40 minutes, apparently. It's a bit uh, closer at half marathon with about a 125 or a low 126 required. So what I thought I'd do is actually take all the data from people that run sub-3 marathons between the start of 2019 to the current day which totals around about sort of 4,000 runners and see what times they actually run at those distances so as an example this graph is showing what are the best 5k times of the sub 3 marathon runners that did it from 2019 onwards in the UK so on the scale here on the horizontal scale we've got their best times that recorded in a 5k in that period what I did is actually extended the period from a uh, year before so any sort of 5k when they were either training for the marathon or just before it. And on the vertical axis, we've got the percentage of runners doing these times. So we start off with the very fastest runners doing times around about sort of 15 minutes for 5K. And then we get up and up and up to nearly everybody that's actually done a 5K would have obviously got, got one in under about 20 minutes. So I'm looking for perhaps a sweet spot for marathon runners of about 95 percent around that comes into about about there that's around about 19 minutes on this graph so we use this data to sort of validate those other models so going back to our comparison chart here of the different times what i've now added in is extra columns to show the percentage of runners in the uk that actually achieved these times in these different scoring tables and you can instantly see with the Greg McGuilling tables that only 88% of UK runners actually hit the 1828 standard, whereas it was 94% for half marathon. So it does rather suggest that the 5K and also the 10K, which is 89%, are actually harder than they actually need to be to get a sub three. So if we move over to the other ones, we can see that these percentages here are much closer. And in fact, it seems that a good approximation of what you actually need to do in terms of likely to hit a sub three is to be in the 95 percent range what also is very interesting here that is kind of brought out by both the age graded tables and my own data is that the women don't seem to need to run as fast at 5k and 10k to achieve a sub three as the men do so i mean does that suggest the women have just got better endurance and even at half marathon they can afford to be slightly slower and have a time well into the 126s whereas the men are more like 125 but i think this does show that if you look at the age graded tables then, then there's, that is a fairly good indication of what you need to do so you certainly need to be around about 19 minutes for a part run if you're any slower than that you, you may struggle don't need to necessarily run a 40 minute 10k but if you can get one under 40 then that certainly means you've got a good chance and around about a 125 to 126 half marathon is required i'm sure there are some people that can run a half marathon in 129 and run a three-hour marathon but they that will be few and far between so i hope you appreciated the little stats interlude and look forward to see you on the next one okay bye